corner wearing the all red trunks coming from El Ellesmere Port in Cheshire. He weighed in at 8 stone 10 pound. Holds a 23 fight professional record, 19 wins, 13 by way of knockout with 4 losses. He comes to the ring the current British Commonwealth and European Bantamweight Champion. Please welcome the challenger for the title, Paul Livewire Lloyd. And across the ring in the blue corner, wearing the dark trunks trimmed with gold, he comes from Mexico and weighs in at eight stone, nine pound. He holds a 49 fight professional record, 47 wins, 35 coming by way of knockout with two losses. Tonight he competes in his 13th world title contest. He's the two times world champion, the current WBO super bantamweight champion of the world, Marco Antonio Barrera. The referee, Mr. Samuel Babu, will now give his instructions to both boxers. Boxers, this is for the World WBO Championship, okay? I'm gonna call the night low from this point on down. You understand that? I'm gonna call low from this point down. I give you the instructions in your respective uh, dressing room. Then I'm gonna pregunta. Any questions here? Protect yourself at all times. Good luck to both of you. 12 three minute rounds for the WBO Super Bantamweight Championship of the World. 50th fight for Marco Antonio Barrera, his 13th at World Championship class. What a job it is for Paul Lloyd. Oh, and he's caught straight away with a right hand from Barrera, making his first ever appearance in Europe, never mind Great Britain, regarded as one of the big names of world boxing, Barrera in the black trunks. Lloyd moving up a weight, although he used to fight as a super phantom weight in a previous part of his career. British Commonwealth European champion at Bantam, but this is another level. And already Barrera is getting through with good punches. He's very, very accurate. And he just there lost his balance for a bit on that far side. The legs just seemed to go momentarily of Lloyd, and he sacked against the ropes, but quickly recovered happily for him. Barrera who fights with this stone face has this controlled menace about him. He's particularly hurtful to the body, and Lloyd here struggling to cope with his speed and variety early on here. Oh, and Lloyd looking very disorganized and a little bewildered by the sheer class of the man. Oh, he doesn't know where he is. He's got to be stopped this, I think, inside a round. Referee from New York, Sam Virouette. Look how badly marked up he is already, Paul Lloyd. He looks in too deep here, doesn't he? Barrera barely missed with a shot. He really is in too deep. This is too tough for Lloyd. Barrera, I think, will have this over with very soon. Oh, it's horribly one-sided. Surely Paul Lloyd can find no way back from this. He's taken a heavy pounding in the opening round. His face already looks as if it's done 12 rounds. Well, his legs are very wide apart. He's really trying to grip the canvas here. Just as well he went down because I think the referee would have had to stop him if he'd stayed on his feet. Look at these shots. They're coming from all over the place. Well, I think the referee should jump in now. He's took some heavy punches. He's struggling to keep his feet on the floor. He has been badly hurt there. He did get in with a left hook there to Paul Lloyd. His face is already a red mask from these lashing, lethal shots from this class Mexican. Oh, look at the way he sets himself with the body shots. It's horrible to behold, really. Lloyd is showing amazing courage already, really, to stay in there and on his feet with this. He must feel like the survivor of a multiple injury road crash.
goodness me, this is one of the most one-sided rounds I've ever seen without the fight getting stopped. How did he get through that, Paul Lloyd? Why did he get through it? Well, in, in fairness, I mean, he's very tough. We know that, but for me, the referee should have jumped in. He's taken a terrible beating in there. I mean, that really was terrible. He's badly cut. I'd be surprised if they let him go out for the next round because he's just going to get more of the same. His pride will tell him to go on, but I don't know. Jimmy Tibbs is in there. And so is Mick Williams, and they've got two cut men, by the way, tonight. They're looking at all the cuts. It's off. It's over after one round. No more. Marco Antonio Barrera. We only saw three minutes of him, but that was about all we needed to see. Last time he fought, he had Naz's next written on his shorts. They seem to have forgotten that campaign for the moment. But um, Reiki, he's good, isn't he? He was terrific. I mean, that was... You couldn't, you know, he was just so painful to watch. He really did put, inflict so much pressure, so much accurate punching. You can see he's really sickened already by this. It's only his toughness and bravery that got him through that first round. But a class act, he was almost just, chilling just to, to watch him in. He was just cut to bits as well by all this, Lloyd. It was really a fighter who's good at European level but moving from that kind of level up into the very highest world class with one of the best men around was all too much for Paul Lloyd and really it was a very compassionate decision to make sure that he didn't come out for the second round I'm really really glad that didn't happen well I, I said they shouldn't and they didn't and I think that's down to the, the good cornerman then in there and they knew they weren't going to let Paul Lloyd see any more of that because you know, he barely threw a competitive punch himself. It was just all Barrera. And uh, he just went about his work very, very chilling composure. Put his shots together, never wasted one body and head. He had poor Paul Lloyd bent double there, trying to hang on in. Some of those body punches brought me back to those days when Carlos Palomino was sinking in those shots against John H. Tracy. It was wince on the look of the face of Paul Lloyd. Well, he seems to be as all right as you can be after surviving three minutes of that from Barrera. And this is a fellow who was beaten twice by Junior Jones, who seems to be uh, his jinx fighter, but everything else Barrera has won. What a British debut. It was frightening to behold. Ladies and gentlemen, at the end of the first round, uh, on the doctor's advice, the referee stops the contest. The winner and still WBO Super Bantamweight Champion of the World, uh, Marco Antonio Barrera. So now we know what all the fuss has been about. 50 and counting from Marco Antonio Barrera. And he's only just 25 years of age. Could be a decent fighter in the years ahead.